Hi, Chris Wallace from Second Swing. We're in Orlando, Florida at the 2018 PGA Merchandise Show. We're with Titleist today, talking with Josh Talge. Josh, good to see you. Great to see you. We're going to talk about 818 hybrids, H1, H2, been out for a little while now. You guys are having a lot of success with both of these models. You know, we've, uh, we're really fortunate how quickly these have been adopted by not only the best players in the world, we, we actually are the number one hybrid on the PGA Tour, but also really a lot of consumers are going out there, they're trying the product and they're realizing, man, this thing gives you a ton of ball speed, really launches it high in the air, unbelievably forgiving, and then most importantly, with our fitting options, we can really turn these into what we call scoring clubs instead of rescue clubs. Yeah, and there's some pretty significant technology upgrades from H16. Walk us through some of what's new with 818. Yeah, there's quite a few things. The first is you'll see a, a new and improved active recoil channel. Now it's, it's filled in, it's got a little elastomer over the top of it, but this cavity is a little bit deeper than it was before, gives us a little bit more flexing off the face, more ball speed. The new shaping that gave us an opportunity to actually change the center of gravity gave us 10% more forgiveness. And then finally, we've incorporated, we've always we've kept our independent loft and lie because we think that's key for all golf clubs. We want to be able to do that. But in this, this new version of the hybrid, we added SureFit CG. Inside of this little weight port, basically looks like a double A battery and it allows us to kind of shift the weight, whether we want to put a little more weight on the toe or the heel. Why that's so critical, especially in a hybrid, is as you know, a lot of guys struggle with why well, I hit the hybrid left of left. Yeah. Now we've got a chance to not only change kind of loft and lie, but also put some weight out on the toe for them and really be able to give them a product that they're going to be so excited about every day. So those are the key tech changes. The other big change is shape. Okay. So as you see our H1 hybrid, kind of model it as best we can here, kind of a full body profile. This is, this is really designed for a hybrid player who likes to sweep it, which is probably the majority of, of amateur golfers that are out there, but we also wanted to create an H2 version, significantly smaller than in the past, much square toe than we've had, and this is really set up for the guy who wants to hit down on the ball. So on the PGA Tour, we'll certainly see more players turning to, to H2, yeah. but we still have guys like Pat and Kazai are playing in H1. He just won you know, the last couple of weeks. So it really comes down to how do you swing the club. Outstanding, yeah, and that's important because if you're in the wrong head, some of the other customization that you have may not work for you as well as it could have otherwise. Exactly, and that's why we, we always stress fitting, as you guys know, because we want to make sure we get your golfer in, see you. It gives them the opportunity to actually see Let's prove that performance. Let's convince people that, yeah, this is worth putting in your bag. And finally, it's just going to excite you to go play because you're getting fit into the best possible products for your game. And I can speak to it firsthand because I'm incredibly shallow. And so for me... Your swing. Shallow, yeah, <laughs> exactly, my swing. As you mentioned, H1, you know, markedly better for me in terms of my swing. Yes, and that's, and that's what we see. And not only, you know, when someone comes in and really works with you on, on fitting, the other thing they're going to look at is how's the launch and how's that angle of descent because, again, we want these to be scoring clubs. We want to make sure that you're hitting a certain number, getting in that window each and every time. And there could be a chance where, you know, if someone's maybe, let's say they're steep, you mentioned you're shallow, you're perfect for hybrid. What if somebody's a little bit over the top, a little bit steep? Well, chances are we might actually want to put them in a 20 degree or 21 degree fairway wood. Yeah. Because that might actually get them the launch and the angle of descent that they need. So that's why fitting is just so key to really dial in the absolute best performance for your game. Yeah, and of course, you can come in, get fitted second swing. We'll get you in the right hybrid. Otherwise, take what Josh had to say to heart. You can pick the one that's going to be best for your game, be it the H1 or the H2. We'll take your old hybrid. Josh, Excellent. we appreciate it. Thanks. Chris, this is always fun. Good Thank to you. see you.